I'll force you to come in for one class. All right. Um, now, <laughs> so, so that means you're threatening me, right? All right. So threatening, threatening. So now we have negative 5x squared times uh, 3x squared minus 2x. And basically, ladies and gentlemen, just to kind of review, I mean, some of you guys um, you were asking, hey, we've seen this a lot before. Yeah, we've covered this you know, in algebra 1, algebra 2, distributive property. But it's going to get a little bit more, it's going to get a little bit more detailed um, as we're going on. So I want to make sure I review this. Ladies and gentlemen, when you're multiplying polynomials, monomials times polynomials, polynomials times polynomials, we need to apply Taylor to the distributive property. And what the distributive property basically states is when you have a term multiplied by a polynomial or an expression, you have to multiply that term by every single term inside of the parentheses or inside that expression. All right? Um, that is true even if it was a binomial, even if I had something like this. I'd have to multiply that one times everything inside as well. Okay? We're not going to do one of those though right now. So all I simply need to do is say, all right, that's negative 5x squared times 3x squared. And that is times 5x squared times 3x squared. Ah, I already did that. 5x squared times negative 2x. All right, so you're multiplying the negative 5x squared times both of the terms. So here I get a negative 15x to the fourth. And then here, ne minus negative times negative becomes a positive, And I get a 10x cubed. Does everybody see that? How I multiplied this by both of those terms? No. Does everybody follow me? OK. Because I'm about to do a difficult problem. I'm about to do 